Okay, there's a new addition to the Eurorack system. It's a Bode frequency shifter clone from Behringer. Um, when I started getting into synth, the Bode frequency shifter was one of the rarest and most expensive modules. I think a couple of Buchla things might have been up there as well, but I remember them going for like $5,000 in the mid 2000s, which was insane. Um, so I've been playing with it for a few minutes now. It just showed up today. Um, uh, it's already sounding really good, so I thought I'd do a quick video. Um, let's just hear it. So what's going on here is there's a plates in chord mode or a brains from Behringer, which is a plates clone kind of. Um, so here's the dry signal from that chord. And that's going into the um, CP3 mixer along with the um, low note from the 921 oscillator. And then I have some feedback happening with the mixer as well. Um, so if we bring up the frequency shifter. This one's the feedback. So that's how it sounds without feedback. But if you bring it up. gets a little more resonant and vocally. This thing has a lot of outputs. It has A outputs, B, and then a mix output. So here I'm taking A and the mix, and then I have the mix set to A. But we can listen to a few of the different modes, and I'll show you what they sound like. Get rid of the feedback. So, um, Here's just A. Um, I'm getting confused here. So the way this works, it has um, all this modulation is coming from the frequency shifter itself. If the zero adjust is set to whatever zero would be, here it's like 11 o'clock. If I go slightly off, up it sounds like that, and down it sounds like that. So I have it set to exponential, but it's set very low. So exponential gives you pretty much the whole range. But if you just want the low kind of phasey stuff, you can set it to like five. And I have an LFO 
attached to the control input, which will move the speed around. Go back to exponential. Send some sample and hold, and we'll just do some wild. Um So now it's set to zero. Can chance some more feedback, but this thing clips kind of easily, so you have to watch your level. Bring up the dry. You notice you get a lot more phaser sound when the dry is mixed against the, the frequency shifter. Well, it's probably the worst demo video I've ever done, but I don't know, maybe you get something out of it. Anyways, thanks for watching.